As we begin today's meditation, let's quiet our hearts and minds before the Lord. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts, and see if there be any hurtful way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. A prayer of confession. God of majesty and light, all of creation testifies to your glory. Though your law is perfect, I have disobeyed. Though your revelation is true, I have disbelieved. Though your commandments are pure, I have not trusted you. Forgive me, O Lord, for my willful sin and for my hidden faults. Preserve me with your mighty power this day, that I may not fall into temptation. Straighten my path and give me wisdom to discern your will, that you might be glorified in everything. Amen. The Word of the Lord from the Old Testament, Proverbs chapter 27. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and sand is weighty, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy. One who is full loathes honey, but to one who is hungry, everything bitter is sweet. Like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home. Oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from his earnest counsel. Do not forsake your friend and your father's friend, and do not go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor who is near than a brother who is far away. Be wise, my son, and make my heart glad that I may answer him who reproaches me. The prudent sees danger and hides himself, but the simple go on and suffer for it. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger and hold it in pledge when he puts up security for an adulteress. Whoever blesses his neighbor with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, will be counted as cursing. A continual dripping on a rainy day and a quarrelsome wife are alike. To restrain her is to restrain the wind or to grasp oil in one's right hand. Iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. Whoever tends a fig tree will eat its fruit and he who guards his master will be honored. As in water, Face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects the man. Sheol and Abaddon are never satisfied, and never satisfied are the eyes of man. The crucible is for silver, and the furnace is for gold, and a man is tested by his praise. Crush a fool in a mortar with a pestle, along with crushed grain, yet his folly will not depart from him. Know well the condition of your flocks, and give attention to your herds. For riches do not last forever. And does a crown endure to all generations? When the grass is gone and the new growth appears and the vegetation of the mountains is gathered, the lambs will provide your clothing and the goats the price of a field. There will be enough goat's milk for your food, for the food of your household and maintenance for your girls. And now we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
The word of the Lord from the New Testament, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling, and my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Yet among the mature we do impart wisdom, although it is not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to pass away. But we impart a secret and hidden wisdom of God, which God decreed before the ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except the Spirit of that person, which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. And we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one, for who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. A prayer of adoration. Holy Spirit, I worship you for revealing to me the things of God. By your power and wisdom, I have come to understand and believe the gospel. Thank you for revealing what no eye has seen and no ear has heard, the glorious things that God has prepared for those who love him. The word of the Lord from Psalm chapter five. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Give attention to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you do I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch, for you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil may not dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in the fear of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me, for there is no truth in their mouth. Their inmost self is destruction. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of the abundance of their transgression, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover him with favor as with a shield. The psalm says, through the abundance of your steadfast love, I will enter your house. Thank you, Lord, that I have access to you and peace with you, Jesus. Someday, I will enter your house eternally. But now, I sojourn in this world, journeying toward your heavenly kingdom. So teach me to savor your steadfast love as I go through this day. I confess that in my inner world, I've lived as an orphan for a long time. I've taken care of myself by controlling others, using my power in unhealthy ways, or endlessly distracting myself. 
So drive a vision of your majestic temple and your steadfast love deep into my imagination. You are my protector and shield. In Jesus, I'm completely covered by your favor. Please help me take hold of your love in my inner person and let it overflow from me into the world around me. For Jesus' sake. And now, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, now and always, until the day of Christ's return. <laughs>